Hey there, everybody, and welcome. I am so excited to share some of the new Adobe Express features that have just been rolled out in the beta version. One of the most impressive and newest things to come to Adobe Express is full video support. And with that, I mean video templates, audio to choose from, and the ability to easily crop into different outputs. This makes it so easy with the use of video templates to make Instagram Reels or TikTok videos or YouTube Shorts or even just YouTube videos alone right here in the Adobe Express beta program. So let's go ahead and get started. It's really easy to find. When you open up the new Adobe Express beta, you're going to notice that there is going to be a bunch of presets that you have in the front. We're gonna go ahead and find the Instagram Reels and we're going to search for a template to start with. As you can see, these templates have fully incorporated video and animation and you know really give you that leaping point to get started. So we're gonna scroll down a little bit and just to show you the mass amount of really cool looking templates, all of which are different time frames, different second marks. Again, you're not limited in the sense of what or how you edit. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this open house template. So to use that, I'm gonna go ahead and click to get started. As you see, I can go ahead and X out of that to look at my canvas. I now have a fully functional timeline right in Adobe Express. And this has a lot of features if you're familiar with Adobe Premiere Rush or Premiere Pro, or even a kind of animating or editing video in Photoshop, you're gonna notice that we have the ability to make a scene longer or shorter just by sliding those elements. We have the ability to zoom in and out of our timeline, as well as show layering timeline within our canvas. So this is really important because as I select each layer, I can kind of adjust when that is on the screen. So if I don't want the word open to appear, I could just kind of pull that out and then it will be delayed when it comes on screen. You'll also notice I have the ability to add as many scenes as I want. So if I click on each kind of clip, I have the ability to duplicate that clip, split layers. Think of this almost like a video pages, which by the way, we have the ability to do pages as well. So let's go ahead and get started in applying my own brand to this. So firstly, I'm gonna kind of delete some of the elements I don't want. So I'm not gonna use these top elements, so I'm gonna kind of take those out of my initial kind of uh, setup. And I, want, I don't want the word home, I wanna do this for one of my tutorials. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of highlight that word home and delete that from the timeline here. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm not a realtor, I don't wanna open house, but I wanna advertise some new tutorials. So as you can see as I scrub through here, that this is an actual video. If I click on this video, I can do some really amazing things. I can edit that video, I can play with the speed, I can even add effects and adjustments and animation to that video, but I can also replace it. And this is a great new feature and now you have access to tons and tons of Adobe stock video to replace with your scene. So for instance, if this was a video on a coffee house, I could just select and replace like I would an image. And now I have that video and you'll notice now it's on two unique layers in which I can start editing. Well, I wanna use one of my own videos. So I'm gonna hit replace one more time, go to upload from device and navigate over to one of the screen recording videos we have here. So now that I have that video on the screen, once again, I can edit that clip just to show what I want the viewer to see. So we're gonna edit quite a bit out of this clip here. And the cool part is you can split these clips, you can, you can do all sorts of stuff with your your kind of scene here. And you'll notice now that I kind of start editing, I have the ability to kind of change all of the timing of these different clips. So instead of open, I'm gonna type new. And instead of house, I wanna type, double click here or hit command A, tutorial. And that's a little too big, so command A to select it. And I'm gonna just type 250, maybe a little lower here, 240. That fits perfectly. All right, 
Now that I have that going, it's still not on my brand. So I wanna change the background to my brand color. So I'm gonna to go to the background color and I'm gonna have my brand already loaded. You can build your brands on the home page, and you can build things like your, your logos or the font uses and all sorts of things. So I'm gonna start by just adding a yellow backdrop that looks really good. I wanna change these typefaces, so I'm gonna hold shift and select them both. So I'm gonna open the font menu, and next to my library, I'm gonna navigate down to my brand which is gonna unlock commonly used fonts I use. Awesome, really quick to do this. And then the final thing I kinda of wanna add in here is one of, or is my logo. So I can do that a few different ways as well. So if I go to the Your Stuff folder, at the top you'll see brands and libraries. And again, you can build your own brand and library as you wish. You can have multiple brands present, you can have, you know, tons of these. So here is my logos. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop that logo. Give it a second to load. There we go. And we're gonna just put that kind of at the top, maybe in the top corner. So that looks pretty good. I love those smart guides. They make life a lot easier. So now that I have this running, I can run through it. You can kind of see I have all sorts of fun things. My video disappears there for a little bit. So if your video is disappearing, you just go ahead and stretch it for the whole duration. And this is gonna roughly be nine to 10 seconds, but I can make this much, much larger or longer if I wish. So I have that going. I have the word awaits. So I'm gonna kind of center that a little bit too. If you wanna change the animation, it's so simple. You highlight your group or your individual animated element, and then you can add things like the in, what it does during the play button, and then even an animation out. So if I get to the end here and I'm playing this and I want these things to kind of swipe off the screen, let's go ahead and highlight this one more time and click the out button. And we're gonna have that, let's see, drift is a little too slow, maybe slide off the screen. You can even pick what direction it goes in. So I'm gonna do energetic slide, and it's gonna go off the screen pretty quickly. So let's go back, hit play. There we go. Now, when I hit play there, I realized my video has sound on it. I don't want that sound. So I'm gonna go back to the sound layer and just make sure I mute my video. So now when I play this back, I can go ahead and ensure that I don't have any sound in my actual final video, which is gonna be really, really nice. So now no sound plays, we can kind of see animation, moving, everything's great, and we're good to go. So with a matter of a few clicks, I've just created a really nice 10 second, this could be an Insta story, a reel. Again, I can stretch this out so I can change this duration. And you have your little zoom bar here. If I wanted to add a new scene, I could completely add another blank scene in which I bring characters in. If I wanna delete things, I just click on the little ellipse and delete. It's so user friendly now to make these, these awesome videos. This is a real game changer. And I only know they're gonna update this more as they go. So, you know, I highly suggest you give this a shot. Give it a test out with your own. Make yourself, again, a small animated loop. You know, really, really have some fun with this as you go. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just fix some of my wording here to last the whole page. Because I extended that timeline a bit. And there we go. When you're ready to export, you can just go to the top, hit download. You can export now in 720, 1080, or catch this, even 4K, if you're ready to kind of put that on YouTube or a platform that supports that. We can even go and just support uh, the PNG. So if, again, I wanna just kind of create a thumbnail for that, I can do that quickly, hit download again, and then through a matter of a few seconds, it's going to export my very own MP4 file in which I can upload to any of the social media that utilize that video or the vertical video format. Again, this is a game changer for Adobe Express. More features will be added from what I hear in, in the next coming up months. And again, just top-notch stuff. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and get out there and start creating.